the secrets you are looking for are here. The Big Swig has grown quite the reputation in the Splatoon community. Many of you at home would hail it as the worst roller. But I first used this weapon with my friends to get a victory in the meme team for this footage. Well, we lost and lost and lost and lost. Yet, it is a fun weapon that can hold its own if played correctly. This video will have pointers, but please, before you comment, consider this is very much so opinionated. The big swig is the inking roller. If you never die and just roll the whole game, you can get around 1,800 paint points. It's horizontal or the roll does a measly 70 damage while it's vertical flick does 120 at very close range while 47 at its actual or four range. Unlike the diamond note, this has fabulous ink efficiency and fabulous maneuverability. The big swig is very, very, different compared to the other rollers. I have played a lot of the Big Swig to prepare for this video, so please enjoy and subscribe. Hours and hours of footage and dedication have gone into this, and after carefully analyzing all of my gameplay, I have this guy just for you. Look out gamers, I committed a science. Excuse me, that's my line you chicken muffin. Uh, hi viewers, if you want to see my opinion on whether or not the Big Swig is trash or treasure, come check out my video, linked in the cards in the description below. Peace. Of course, Vasco has a video too. For me, if you want to play the Big Swig Roller well, forget everything you know about the rollers, look forward to Salmon Run, and learn through your failure. You'd better forget! If you have not played Splatoon, even better! That's right, forget everything you know about the other rollers. The Big Swig, in my humble opinion, is the best roller for a beginner to pick up. The high level of ink leads to high maneuverability in a Splatoon game that are built around maneuvering. Since the Big Swig has much more ability to maneuver than other rollers in the game, it makes it a superior choice starting out. On the other hand, since the Big Swig lacks killing power, the vertical flick helps teach players to aim. The vertical flick is even harder to hit than that of a carbon since the carbon roller's flick is wider. It also rewards players who stay alive. Therefore, the Big Swig is somewhat of a natural tutorial, albeit not a very efficient one. If you played other rollers for a long enough time to develop habits, those said habits will hurt you with the Big Swig. With most rollers, you can one-hit KO. With the Big Swig, you simply cannot. Unless you are practically making out with your enemy. You see two enemies and are conditioned via the carbon or vanilla rollers to bat, bat, and try that with your Big Swig. Well, most likely will die. Stay back, use your ink as a buffer, and maneuver in for a sneaky splat. If someone decides to get in close, use your vertical flick as an emergency one-hit KO. For the Flingza, or the Dynamo Rollers, vertical flicking is the preferred method of splatting and inking. Not with my pal, the Big Swig. With this weapon, the rolling ink efficiency is just insane. You can quickly roll your way to an ink vacuum without so much as using half of your ink tank. During splat Fest, this was a fun and easy way to enter mid at the start of the match. With supportive special the vacuum to help lock down mid control with my more aggressive teammate. The horizontal ink power on this big bad baby, the big swig, is also incredible. I would recommend focusing on being the main painter for your team. If I said that for any other roller, I would be stupid. This is a painting roller. Overall, it's solid ink efficiency and mobility. Make the big swig a nice comfy home to start your your journey into roll. The solid ink and mobility help move this baby to salmon run. Many people will take the general negative connotation about the big swig from the louder side of the community and carry over to an assumption of it being subpar in salmon run. I disagree. It rocks in salmon. The ability to maneuver in salmon run is important. The extra ink aids in that needed movement. Furthermore, as a big swig, you can still fulfill the extra cool roller hacks and gushers and glow fives. Keep moving forward as they rush you and keep an eye on your ink tank so that you don't get run over while you're out of ink. This hack can save an entire round if used well, so I will not be complaining about being blessed with big swig for glow flies. I know it's a dynamo in the following clip, but I promise it still applies. A similar strategy can be used to roll over the goldie once it's found in the gusher. Slowly move forward and the goldie will rain eggs. The bigger swigger also has a beautiful ability to kill lessers. Even 
though you cannot roll right over the lessers to kill them, it bounces them back enough where you continue to maneuver and roll. This rolling is ink efficient and leaves ink on the ground for you and your friends to maneuver as well. In a pinch, the spinning big swig can just push those nasty salmonids back to wherever they came from. The roller can also one-shot the flipper flopper zones as well. One big swig swing and you're done worrying about the zone and can focus on slapping the boss for eggs. This roller can ink and maneuver. Enjoy it in Salmon Run 2. The big swig can help you learn by failing. Before I mention, I had lost with the meme team many a times. We, however, were able to greatly improve thanks to that terrible experience. I am by no means an expert roller main, nor a comp player, but I'm able to recognize my mistakes and think of how and why I died. Having died enough times with the big swig, I believe I am finally decent at its vertical flips. It feels extra awesome to get a three hit kill having learned the proper spacing and timing against the shorter ranged player. Out maneuvering, out painting, and getting those three or four flick kills is just extra satisfying. For Rainmaker, by the way, this baby the big swig does not help pop the Rainmaker shield. Let others, like me, dying to the Rainmaker pop be the failure you learn from rather than trying to take on the Rainmaker and frustrating yourself as I have been for so long. On another point, jumping into your teammates does not work either. For the carbon or the splat roller, you can get a splat or a trade on the pesky spawn campers. That doesn't work for the big swig. Rick rolling is just not a good idea for the big swig either. Just take a look at what happened to Vasco. With careful attention to your failures, they can become your key to success in the future. Also, the vacuum on this big swig can be sniped at long distances. Had to fail at that one to find out. And speaking of the vacuum, but wait, there's more. Call now and with three easy payments of 1999 Sheldon licenses, we shall add a vacuum to your bigger swigger. Or, uh, yeah, it's just already there. You will start to notice how a well-timed vacuum can help, especially the hands of a roller that can get many of them each match. Learning the vacuum takes a good amount of time as well, and thoughtful failing with your vacuum is a good way to learn. Slurping up booyah bombs is incredibly satisfying as well. You can take in anything that inks, including tentamissile. For those tricolor battles in Splatfest, using it to attack with a teammate, preferably in VC, is incredibly helpful. It keeps defenders from splatting your teammate whilst going for the ultra signal. At the end of the day, positioning a long alongside a teammate on a key area of the map is important, yet timing is far more so. Time your vacuums to cover your teammates against enemies, time your vacuums to slurp up a booyah bomb, and done so correctly, the enemies will be unable to fire or ink or whatever, while your killered friends track them down for an easy Splat. I should probably talk about the splash wall, but uh, I, uh, 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 splash wall. Defend yourself and your teammates. Yeah, uh, that splash wall. Overall, the big swig is satisfying. I've gotten my win to loss ratio about the same as it is with any other weapon, both in turf war and with anarchy. Kills feel more rewarding, and I've died less with the bigger swigger. I have learned from the big swig. And like newbies and salmon runners with the big swig, I will rise to new heights with my big swig. It's a Squidman. Stay fresh. No dying. Avita body. Bye.